So um, today I'm making a video that I did not honestly think I would have to make. I was very scared that I might have to make this video at some point in time, but I kind of just had my fingers crossed that I didn't have to, but here we are. Today I tried to make a Call of Duty Mobile video, and when I opened up the app, I was on the login screen. Now, to some people, that's not really that big of a deal, right? You click the Call of Duty login, you go to your password, and you simply type in the password that you have for Call of Duty Mobile. I'm not a robot, no big deal, and then you log in now. Well, I tried logging in, and that's what I got. You have entered an invalid email slash password combination. And the only reason you would get something like that is if the password has been changed or that account is just no longer there. We have an authorization error. I click OK, and now I'm back on the main screen. I can't log into my Call of Duty mobile accounts. So I don't know if you guys remember, but a few days ago, I made a video talking about how everybody's account is potentially in danger because there is some website out there that people are able to put in players' IDs and then just with a little bit of information, delete their accounts entirely. And there are other YouTubers that have already faced this problem. Ferg is a perfect example of one of these YouTubers. And I thought, you know, I mean, my videos, they don't get that many views. There's not too many people that watch my videos in comparison to like his videos, right? So there would be less of a chance that this would happen to me. But here we are. And it looks like it might have happened to me as well. Now for me, it's luckily like not the biggest deal in the entire world. Thank God the account that, you know, I think might have gotten deleted, I, I didn't spend any money on, all right? I actually didn't spend any money on that account. That's one of the accounts that I bought a while back when I did one of those buying an account videos for Call of Duty Mobile and I just still used it to this day every once in a while when I made my YouTube videos. But the account that I'm actually on right now I have spent quite a decent amount of money on, and I'm terrified to even play any match where I could encounter any people at all. Like, I'm actually genuinely terrified. I'm going to, you know, do a little bit of gameplay here right now while we talk about a couple of things, but I'm freaking going up against AI players because I, I don't want this account to be screwed over as well, dude. Like, seriously, this is, this is the only other account that I have. And I'm not about to try and start from the beginning. Okay, if this freaking account gets banned too, or not banned, it's not banned. It's literally getting deleted by some other person, right? So at least these bots, they're bots, right? They, 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 they're not real players, and you don't have to worry about going up against any potential real players. Um, that could, you know, have some malicious intent, let's just say that. Hello, Mr. Bot. Wow, my sensitivity is a little bit screwed up here, but uh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, this is not an account that I normally even play on, so I'm not even used to these controls and other stuff like that. But isn't that really kind of terrible? Uh, today, I actually wanted to make a video on a cool glitch in Call of Duty Mobile. And whenever I do my glitch videos, I always use two accounts, right? Because I want to create a private server where I'm not going up against any other people in a public match and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that's not happening. That's not freaking happening. Because how am I supposed to do that now with another account? And... You know, it's not like I'm going to start from the beginning. I don't know, man. I want to know what you guys think I should do because, like, at this point in time, I'm, I'm genuinely scared to make any Call of Duty mobile videos. The glitch videos were nice because, you know, I'm only using my two accounts and I'm not actually encountering any other people. So I don't run the risk of my account, you know, being in danger. But, um, you know, now I don't really have any other better idea of what to do a video on. Because if I, you know, go into any match in Call of Duty Mobile, then obviously, like I said, I run the risk of going up against somebody with malicious intent. And, you know, the craziest thing about all of this is I had streamer mode turned on. Um, oh, my God. My, <laughs> my controls. Oh, Lord. I got to fix things real quick here. But uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm going up against bots. So it's not like it's a, it's a difficult, you know, set of people that I'm going up against. Hello. Goodbye. Um, but yeah, I, I literally had streamer mode turned on. So when I made my video a while back and I talked about how, you know, one of the ways that you can stay safe in Call of Duty Mobile from this massive problem in the game is to just turn on streamer mode. Okay, can I, can I use a nuke in peace, please? All right, let's go hide behind here. 
and let's go use a nuke. Yeah, first nuke on camp is because I'm going up against bots, obviously, but um, as I was saying, basically, yeah, I had streamer mode turned on, and I don't even think streamer mode is something that actually keeps you safe in Call of Duty Mobile. And... Yay, there we go. We got a nuke kill. Wonderful. Fantastic. Anyways, um, yeah. So, if you're playing Call of Duty Mobile, I would be very, very careful. Um, as I said in my older video that I did a couple of days ago, don't be sitting there parading your stats around in this game because if you have anything out there on your account or your stats that makes other people, these stupid hackers, jealous, then they will ruin your day, all right? As they have done for mine. And it's not even like I'm a good player in this game. I, I suck at Call of Duty Mobile, dude. Like, look at look at this gameplay. It's not like I have stuff on my account that's special that's going to make people want to have my account even or something like that. It's just people that are mean that are just doing this to ruin your day. And in spite of you, maybe they're, if you're, if you're a YouTuber, they're mad that you have subscribers and they don't. And, you know, I don't blame them. There's a reason they don't have subscribers. It's just because they're terrible people and no one's going to enjoy their content. So, you know, hey, even though my account might have been deleted, any uh, any other of these any of these hackers that happen to be watching my video, yeah, I said it. You, you're you're not good. You're not good at the game. You're not uh, you know good at whatever. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just I'm just disappointed, man. Um, and there's there's a match finished, but whatever. Does it even matter at this point in time? Like I literally have to go up against bots in order to feel safe in Call of Duty Mobile. So. I think the big lesson here is this issue is still not fixed in Call of Duty Mobile, and um, I would just be very careful if I were you playing Call of Duty Mobile for, you know, I don't even know how long it's going to be until they actually address this problem, talk about it, and say that they have actually done something to fix this, then I would still be very, very careful. Um, maybe enjoy another game while you're at it, because at the moment, I don't think Call of Duty Mobile is very safe. You know, and the craziest thing is, is this has actually happened when I wasn't online. Like, the last time I touched Call of Duty Mobile was when I made my last video, right? So, I mean, like, this happened when I was completely offline. So, even if you're offline, you're not, you're not safe, right? So, maybe just, lo I, I don't even know. I don't know, man. It just sucks. So, yeah, I'm really sorry to have not made a nice, happy, upbeat video like I did in the past. I'm just, uh... Genuinely disappointed that this has happened and I don't really know what to do. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. But until then, stay safe out there, guys. I wish you all the best and um, I'll see you in another Call of Duty Mobile video soon.